Hi guys, this is Kevin Mate with EEV Mate, and this is Troubleshooting Tips episode number four. And in this episode, I wanted to go over just a few different ways on how we can check out our equipment and the accessories that come with your EEV Mate. Things that we can do um, just to ensure that everything's in proper working order. So the first thing we can do revolves around the tool. And I went over a lot of this in Troubleshooting Tips Episode 1, but just a quick refresher. Um, if I turn my tool on, I get a little static on the screen. It then shows EEV Mate. It may look like it's flickering on this video. Um, that's just the frame rate or capture rate of my camera. Uh, the way it looks to me is just solid. So that's not something you should see. But what I want to call your attention to is to make sure that the outputs that we're going to be putting across our adapter cable over here are coming out of our tool properly. Built into the tool is a set of LED lights, and they should light up two at a time, um, two, 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 and two like that. Those LEDs are wired in parallel with these pins and outputs, so if we see them lighting up, we be pretty well sure that we are getting those outputs properly. And the best way to check that is if I click in on the joystick and throttle slowly forward and they go very slowly in that excitation that we wanna see. So you just wanna make sure you see two and then two, two, and two. And that's good. If you want more thorough details about what those lights uh, might mean. Let's say I don't have uh, one of the lights lighting up or I've got more than one lighting up. Go back to episode number one and we go into detail with that uh, pretty well. So enough of that. Uh, let's move on to some of the other accessories. So in the kit, you get a few other accessories we can check out. And that I, I wanna start with is the USB power converter. The USB power converter takes five volts from the USB side and then converts that power to 12 volts coming out of the DC, uh, the barrel jack here. So there's a simple way we can test that. I've got a five volt power supply here. So I'm gonna plug it in. And it does have a little LED indicator light on there that shows that it's working, but we can actually test the voltage coming out from the barrel connector. The way a barrel connector works is we've got our 12 volts coming from inside of the barrel and then the ground or negative side is the outside. So if I set my meter to 12 volts DC, stick one pin on the inside of that barrel and one on the outside, I have 12 volts DC. So I've just checked out my power converter. I know that that guy's good. Um, the next accessory that comes in the kit that we can check out has these little wires going to it and um, there's a possibility through wear and tear, you throw this thing around in your tool bag, whatever, that something breaks. Um, we can check that out through a resistance check. And the barrel connector works the same as with the power converter, but we've got this nine volt battery adapter side to it. On the nine volt battery side, this larger female connector is our positive. So I can change my meter setting to resistance. And again, barrel inside is positive and then I just want to make sure I hear see or hear resistance from there so that's good I can then check the negative side from the outside of the barrel perfect and then maybe I just want to make sure it's not shorted good that accessory is good the last check we can do is with our adapter cable. So what we can do is to make sure that there is no broken pins, there's no shorts between pins, and that everything is gonna flow from our tool to our output to where we're gonna connect our valve before we uh, hook up our valve. If you look at the five pin side, we've got one, two, three, four, five, and we see these notches right here. Um, those notches are indicated on the drawing with these little arrows. And this is a diagram that you do get with the instruction seat. So I would hang on to that instruction sheet and uh, use it as a reference and an ability to, so we can make these tests. You are gonna need a micro lead to, con to conduct this test. And that's so that we can fit our leads into these tiny pin connectors here. 
So using that arrow and the diagram as the guide, I know that on the left side here, this should be my red. And that red should go to pin one and two of the six pin side. How we know which side that is on the six pin side is the red side is painted red. So I'm gonna slip my black lead into the micro lead and then I should have continuity from the red side, these two first pins and only those two first pins. Good, good. And if I check the others, I should have nothing. Perfect. Now if I bump over to the next five pin lead or five pin connector, it's shown as green here. I can trace that out and that should go to pin five. So that should be this pin here, continuity, good, and then nothing else. Check them all to make sure there's no shorts. Moving down, yellow goes to one, two, three, four from the red side. I go no continuity, good, no continuity, good, no continuity, good, and good. On the fourth, nothing on the fifth, and nothing on the sixth. Next up is orange. Uh, we used the color orange on this diagram. Originally, the wire was white. Your wire may actually be, actually be black. Um, so there is no orange wire, but it's the only odd color out. So we know that that is gonna be on pin four of the five pin side. We trace it out. Pin four goes to pin three closest to the red. So continuity here, nothing on the reds, and then nothing on the remaining three. And last but not least, pin number five on our five pin side should go to pin number six on the six pin side. Perfect. And then nothing else. We do now have another adapter cable available. It is a seven pin cable and it is made with a tighter pin spacing. It's compatible with a lot of mini splits. But the only thing that you need to know and to test differently with this is everything is wired pretty much the same as this diagram with the exception of we've got an extra common or red wire on that red side. So I go one, two, three, all commonly connected together. Those are our commons. And then the wiring for the phases where you see this green, yellow, orange, and blue is exactly the same. So you can test that pretty much the same. All right. Well, thank you for watching. Please uh, feel free to like and subscribe. Let me know if you have any requests for any other videos or any questions. Our website is eevmade.com uh, where you can order these tools and have a great day.